Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Countdown to Mega Man 11 series. Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, as have been completed. Now there's only 6 more games for me to complete. Mega Man 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And here we are, Mega Man 5. Released in the same year as Mega Man 4, but, uh... I'm guessing it took like a year for them to make because I don't know how long it takes for Capcom to make a Mega Man game. All I have to do is just copy and paste uh, the graphics, the sprites, and just add a couple of World Masters and stages and add new music and there you go. Everything else is the same, but the gameplay is much more different and better. And Mega Man 5 to me is my favorite game in the entire classic series for a list of reasons that is pretty understandable. I really like the way of how the story begins. Like, it doesn't really start off like, uh, I don't know, Dr. Wily's up to no good again. It starts off in a completely different kind of, uh, like, the uh, robots are just are, are plotting to uh, take over the world or something. Like, who is behind this? What's happening? You've got to be kidding me. That is... It, okay, that is exactly of what I uh, really enjoy in Mega Man 5 because of the intro. It starts off like something is happening, something different, something that you would not expect. That's what I like about it. In the year 20XXAD, look at that, there's silhouettes of every rope master and Proto Man seems to be the leader of the gang. What is this? A vicious army of robots is bent on destroying the world. You're just looking at Proto Man, it's like, wait, he's actually up to this? And behind this destruction is... Proto Man just comes in and kidnaps Dr. Wily, and Mega Man just notices him, and the last thing he sees is Proto Man's scarf, and he lands in his hand. It's like, what is he up to? What is going on? This doesn't feel right. I guess it's up to me to go out there and find out for myself and reveal the truth. And that's exactly what this music is saying in the perfect way possible. Mega Man 5, here we go. It's up to me to... It is up to me to discover of what my brother is up to. Let's begin. All these robots that are causing chaos around the world, let's go fight them. Stone Man, Gravity Man, Crystal Man, Napal Man, Charge Man, Wave Man, Star Man, and Gyro Man. The Thing, Gravity Dude, uh, some Ninja Crystal Dude, Ban Hammer Man, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine's Angry Cousin, Dive Man, Rip Off of uh, Super Mario Brothers, and Earthbound, and some War... And some attack helicopter dude. Banhammer, I'm so I am so proud of that one. Difficult World Up Masters first. Even though that uh, that people uh, think that that Crystal Man is the hardest of the bunch, he's pretty exploitable if you know how to deal with him. Charge Man, on the other hand, I really fucking hate. I really, really, really hate Charge Man's fight. And I will be getting to that later. But for now, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the breathtaking view of the amazing graphics and animation style in gra in Charge Man stage, and the really uh train cargo strain and, and the incredibly catchy yet yet criminally underrated uh soundtrack Charge Man's theme, very catchy, and well it just goes well uh, with everything you see here. It's cargo train level. And what better way to just begin a level? We'll just arrive at the train station and we're just and we'll just go on the train. With some side scrolling uh, levels of uh, the uh, train just going by in an animation, like some kind of uh, animation of where of where you're just on the train. Just running so smoothly. And we just go in the train. While it's still moving, you can hear the sound effects in there because the train is still moving while we're still inside. Really nice too. And I gotta point this out. The Mega Buster is no longer the Mega Buster. It is now the Giga Buster. Look at this shit. It is so fucking huge. I I'm just really disappointed that they did not like, um, they did not, uh, keep it the way it was, uh, in the, uh, other, uh, Mega Man games. Because the, the Mega Buster in Mega Man 5 is really eye candy, and I love looking at it. Plus, uh, it's pretty damn overpowered compared to the rest of the games. And that, and that mouse just, uh, 
just uh, killed himself off screen. What is the point of putting these spikes here? Seriously, what is the fucking point of putting these spikes here? You have to be really fucking stupid enough to actually die on this pet of spikes. Because what's on the other side? Absolutely nothing. Death. That's it. Moving on. I haven't even taken a single hit yet. Don't want to get cocky. And I got another extra life. Wow, that's balanced. And there we go. Made it through made it through charge man stage without taking a single hit. Or I could be wrong. I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, on to charge man's fight. What comprises of my reasons of why I fucking hate everything about charge man is that he just loves and i mean loves to just walk directly behind lo love loves to walk directly behind you and tail your ass in an annoying fashion in the same speed as your as your as your running speed like walks that quickly toward you and it has the tendency to uh just not be in the right places half the time it's really hard to freaking it's really hard to avoid him because uh, the patterns of his uh, of his coal barrage move uh, appear in random directions so uh, if you get cornered by charge man if and if those uh, and if and if a little bit of those uh, parts of coal are like are, are about to fall above you while you're cornered you're going to take a hit so be careful and I cannot believe I just avoided that holy crap that was actually pretty damn smooth Another thing, it's really hard to predict him. Like you, like you can see him, uh, like use his uh, coal barrage uh, attack pretty easily because he turns red. But when it comes to uh, predicting of whether he's going to charge after you, it 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 it, 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 it always catches me completely by surprise, and I always just die by him. And I almost did, but I was just I, I was just I was just showing you his fight. Nothing more. Anyway. And if you really expect me to uh, say, oh yeah, okay, okay, I take back what I said. Only the fight I dislike about Charge Man. Everything else is great, even his weapon. The weapon that uh, Charge Man uses is pretty damn useful and also very fun. We're going after Stone Man next. We're going after Stone Man next, and I'm going to show you just how useful the Charge Kick can be. Because people criticize it because uh, it's it's a People call the charge kick useless because all it does is that it, 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 it it's just a it's just an attack for it's just an attack for your sliding ability. Well, look what I just did. You see those uh, little mets that like to split into a three baby mets uh, when you shoot them mega buster. Use the charge kick, they get killed instantly. The charge kick is not useless. Same thing goes for every other Mega Man weapon uh, in the roster. You always have to find a specific use for it, no matter what. And that's the beauty of it. Well, the thing is, is that uh, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a downside when it comes to using the charge kick as a weapon. It can only be used uh, to take care of enemies that are weak against it, and uh, only for and only for enemies that are on the ground. Since you can't use your uh, mega buster or any other weapon, you're just stick. Oh, you're just stuck with sliding with it. But do I have a problem with that? No. It's a, it's a fun weapon. I love using it. That guy got a really freaking amazing buff in uh, in a Mega Maker. Because you can actually use it in the air now. It takes a bit of timing, but it's still pretty awesome. That was just a flick. I didn't mean to do that. Another thing I like about it? You're rendered invincible. You're rendered invincible when you have the charge kick equipped. Can go. Got to be careful. Almost out of weapon energy. Don't want to end up. Don't want to. Don't want to end up wasting it. Oh yeah, another issue that uh, that people have with Mega Man Five. The weapons. Well, well, obviously the weapons. People have uh, like a bit of a criticism when it comes to using the weapons of Mega Man Five. Because they're either useless or they or they barely have any use at all. 
That's because they just don't ever use them because they don't like the, they just don't like the way it's uh, supposed to be programmed or or how it's used. Here's my tip: get good. That's a, that, that's all that needs to be said for me. If you don't know how to use a weapon, figure it out yourself. Or just uh, call me stupid and just uh, and just decide to use a Mega Buster because uh, this because the Mega Buster in Mega Man 5 is really freaking broken. Another tip: these enemies are not fully protected by their shield. You can just pierce through them like lickety split, no problem. Pretty, just you can just rip them off straight clean. Really nice. Boop. Boop. Oh, time to use the charge kick. Wait for it. Haha, <laughs> it's really it's really fun. Yeet. Oh yeah, I forgot. The the uh Okay, how in the hell should I explain this? Apparently using the charge kick on those uh on those gun enemies uh can be uh, killed in one shot. So there's another use for it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry about that. I just got a phone call from uh, my mother telling me to just turn on the air from the house. I'm home alone. Well, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, you can just uh, use the uh, charge kick to take care of those uh, those shield attacker enemies pretty damn easily. Because again, the charge kick is not useless. Stop criticizing every weapon just because you don't know how the fuck to use them properly. Not my problem, it's yours. And how in the hell am I getting so many fucking extra lives? Jeez, that's a bit unbalanced, game. I mean, I get that this game is a little bit easy in difficulty. I mean, not the kind of game where I just criticize its, uh, its difficulty for being easy on, like, X4, but I have my reasons for that, and I will gladly be getting into those reasons in further fucking detail by the time when I eventually begin to play the, uh, countdown to, uh, or, or actually just, or, or, or just Mega Man X, X, A, Mega Man X Marathon when I get the, uh, when I get the, when I get the legacy collection for Mega Man X. But Mega Man 5, it's alright. It still manages to stay difficult, as a Mega Man game should, and even though that it's easy, it's still really fun. I mean, really. How many times have uh, people, uh, uh, <laughs> I can replicate how many times I've died in, uh, in, in, in playing this game along with every, every other Mega Man game. But Mega Man X4, it was effortless. And I'll begin to increase this in the near future. Speaking of effortless, here's Stone Man. This is like, uh, beta test block man, but worse. The higher he jumps, he just... Okay, when he jumps high, he just crashes into a million pieces, and he's invulnerable while he's in a pile of debris. And his power stone is useless. Does not do any sort of threat whatsoever. Apparently, his power stone is more useless than yours. That's a little bit unfortunate, if I had to say, if, if, if we're being honest here. Because contrary to popular belief, along with literally every other man, every other Mega Man weapon in the game, the Power Stone also has its uses. Sure, it can be a little bit uncooperative at times, but the thing that I really, really, really love about it is that it is so damn useful to take care of all the airborne enemies. I mean, people just love. I, I mean, people just use it to just take care of the ground enemies, which is pretty damn stupid. But the, tr but the power stone is more used to take care of the enemies in the air that only take one shot to kill. It's it's pretty much a, a semi screen wiping move, in my opinion. And here we arrive in Crystal Man stage, a very luxurious and very beautiful stage with a ton of crystal, uh, like um. With a bunch of uh, crystal-like uh, formations in the background and the foreground, just giving off those those uh, beautiful glows of uh, jewels, and even the ladders are made of crystals, even the spikes and the enemies, and uh, crystal music. Very nice. Be careful here. Whoa! Thank God. Thank God I didn't get pushed down. Whoa, that was close. Only got one hit so far. Uh, no. Whoa. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, thanks. 
Thanks for being cooperative with me, uh, game. You didn't, uh, push me, uh, forward into the... It pushed me forward into the pit of spikes. Oh, look at that! The endangered species of the shield attackers. These shield attackers are literally the only time you're going to find them in the entire series. And they have a quite a lot of HP to deal with. I have no idea why these things are pretty damn scarce uh, in numbers. But why would they even make an enemy specifically only meant for that part of the stage? It's a bit pointless. Okay, now for use for the charge kick. Bye. Whee! I wonder if I can... Hold on, I'm just gonna go show off here. Nah, it doesn't work. Not gonna go take care of the... Not gonna go take care of those mass enemies with a charge kick. Because the platform... Uh, uh, because the because the platform is a little bit... A little bit too small. Again, really? Another fucking extra life? How many? Nine. Because zero still counts as a life. Careful. Okay. There we go. Restore my HP, and now we're just gonna go to the boss. We're just gonna go to the boss room. In Crystal Man stage. I think he is weak against the charge kick. Oh wait, never mind. That was in the uh that was in Mega Man 4 in the Game Boy. Crystal Man, at like I said before, he's not really all that hard. It's his crystal eyes that, uh, uh, it's his crystal eyes that make him challenging. And he, uh, is a little bit predictable. A bit, a bit, uh, he's a little bit predictable. I mean, I, I mean, the only issue, the, uh, the, the only issue that, that, uh, that I have with Crystal Man is avoiding his crystal eyes because, well, they're just, his projectiles like to bounce around the walls. But Crystal Man is pretty damn easy. Because... All he does is jump around and uh, just uh, like has it only has two attacks. Jumps around a bunch of times. If he's in the middle, he's going to shoot a uh, a, a jewel projectile at you. And when he just jumps high in the air, he's going to use his uh, crystal eye. And speaking of crystal eye, uh, even though that the uh, name is pretty damn badass, um, I I try to like utilize it uh, the way I the way I wanted to along with every other Mega Man weapon. The Crystal Eye again is is another one of those uh, iffy moments when it comes to uh, versatility but uh, it's not really all that great. I mean I do have uses for it. It's good for uh, taking care of uh, the airborne enemies a little bit and for enemies that are weak against it like those uh, little uh, spherical like enemies that uh, that just travel directly toward you are, and uh, and their faces are always hidden, like inside, like inside metal pieces, and they don't really show their eyes until they move forward. Yeah, those enemies—they're weak against it. But uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else uh, to use them for it. Another issue that I have uh, with the crystal eye is the fact that uh, is the fact that two projectiles bounce directly uh, diagonal, and the other one just bounces back, bounces back and forth, and does not do jack shit to hit anything. It's pretty damn useless. But but that doesn't mean but that doesn't mean it's entirely useless. It's it's an okay weapon. Fun to use, but just not the kind of weapon I'd like to rely on surviving. Gonna go over here. Gonna go grab that M letter. Oh dang! I thought I'd get hit. Pointless glitch. Hold diagonally upward while you're facing the ladder, and then. Yo, Mega Man, the phone's ringing. Answer it. Actually, no. That's actually no. That's not the thing. He's trying to grab the ladder, but since I'm just holding the two directions at once, the game renders that, uh, that Mega Man is, like, attached to the ladder, even though the ladder is, like, right directly in front of me, and, uh, as a result, that just happens. It's pretty damn funny. And here's the enemies that I was referring to. I'm gonna go lure them up here. There we go. Took care of them pretty easily. But, unfortunately, that's the only use I have for them. 
They accept that, but you know. You expect me to grab that because gravity does not. E gravity has no effect with those. With those things anyway. And here we go! Gravity Man! He may look like a derp, but some. Oh, okay, okay. He is a derp, but his fight is pretty damn effortless. To, his fight is pretty damn effortless. You can see his attacks coming from a mile away, and what you're supposed to do is just bait him out and just and just camp on the corner and just and just pulverize his ass. That's all there is to it. That's all it takes to defeat Crystal. That's all it takes to, to defeat Gravity Man. Pretty damn easy. Fun stage, cool music, easy fight, and satisfying as fuck weapon. The Gravity Hold. Ain't nothing more satisfying than sending my uh, enemies uh, in di directly into the sky by hitting them with anti-gravity. Oh my god, that's so damn awesome. Though it's mostly used to just take care of enemies that are, again, airborne and have only like one HP. No enemy is weak against it, sadly. But... The thing is that no enemy is weak against it. If it has like a one HP... Okay, like one health point, they'll just go away. But if they have three health points, uh, you just need to use it three times until you can send them in the air. But you can use it to take care of the big enemies, and I'll be showing that later. But, anyway, that's all I had to show in this episode of Mega Man 5, and I will be gladly seeing you into the- and I'll be gladly seeing you in the next episode. So, hope you enjoyed this- So, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you later. This is GBA049, signing out, going offline. See you next mission, Mega Man for life!